Say goodbye to order chaos with the Otter and Sawpod integration that allows you to effortlessly handle orders from different food aggregators directly within your Sawpod POS system. In this video, we'll show you how to easily integrate Otter to your Sawpod POS. Let's get started. First, go to your Sawpod account and head over to Setup, Partner Integrations, and then select Online Platform Aggregators. Click the toggle button for Otter to enable the integration. A pop-up box with the user agreement will appear. Tick the checkbox to accept the terms, then click Proceed. A message will appear confirming that Otter is now activated. Click the Setup integration next. You will then be taken to the Setup page for Otter. To automatically accept orders from Otter, click the toggle button for Auto Accept Orders. Before we move on to the next step, it's important to keep in mind that once you enable Auto Accept Orders from Otter in your Sawpod POS, you must also enable Auto Accept Orders from your Otter dashboard as well for it to work. So make sure to log into your Otter dashboard for this extra step. Now, back to the Otter setup in your Sawpod account. Select your preferred store location and enter the partner store ID assigned by Otter specific to your store location. Next, you can set your menu availability schedule for regular and special hours if applicable. Once you're done, click Save. Now, you need to set up the menu that you want to make available in Otter. To do this, head over to Setup, go to the Location Setup, and then select the store where Otter is enabled. Click the Online Platform Aggregators, and then select Otter Menu you'll be directed to a page to customize and select items for the Otter menu. Now, if you ever need to designate certain items as unavailable for a particular date and time, or even indefinitely, you have the capability to do so within your Sawpod account. Locate the menu item you want to make changes to. Tick the Availability checkbox, and a pop-up box will appear, where you can specify its availability for a specific date and time, or mark it as unavailable indefinitely. Click Save. When done, click Save Category to finalize your changes. Do this to all your menu categories. When you're happy with your preferred settings, click the Sync Menu button to reflect the changes you made to your Otter menu. Now, to ensure that the menu you just updated reflects correctly in your Otter menu, it's time to go to your Otter dashboard to do a menu pull. This step will sync your menu on both platforms, ensuring that your store's menu is exactly how you want it to appear. In the Otter dashboard, go to Menus. Click the Add Menu button, then click Import. In the drop-down menu, select your brand, and then choose the correct location. Select one of your connected services. Click Continue. Next, you'll be asked to select the location where you want to serve the menu. Choose the store that you set up previously when you enabled Otter in your Sawpod account. Finally, click the Create Menu button. Great! The menu changes you've made will now reflect in the Otter menu. After finalizing your menu changes, reach out to support at Sawpod.com for assistance on syncing your menu with food aggregator platforms. And there you have it! You've unlocked the seamless integration between Otter and your Sawpod POS enabling you to enhance your order fulfillment process like never before. Want to learn more? Click on the link below to book a demo.